Morning Dragons, this short video is going to show you how you can measure to millimeters and rulers are a little bit confusing sometimes, you've probably used them since elementary school and a lot of the rulers in elementary school that you used were just a standard rulers, they measured to inches. But this is an old style ruler, they usually put the uh, metric on the other side. So we can't use this one, it doesn't even have metric on it. So depending on the ruler that you have, um, I, I like that most rulers nowadays, when you go to the beginning of the ruler, they give you a little gap. So if I look at this side, whether it be on the inches side, or if I spin it around and look over here on the millimeter side, it's showing a little gap there. Be careful, because that's, that's missing a couple of millimeters. And so almost every ruler does that. So after a period of years, you're still gonna have enough uh, space here. Even though it wears down, you're not gonna lose a couple of millimeters. So here's something else that's confusing that I noticed on some different rulers. Depending on the ruler that you grab, even though it's measuring to centimeters, so for example, the distance here from the zero to the one is actually one centimeter, some rulers actually say mm, and it kind of confuses you. It'll say, well, is that one millimeter there? One, two, three, four, five millimeters? It's actually not, those are centimeters, and inside those centimeters are 10 millimeters. So to understand what a millimeter is, I, I grabbed a paper clip because typically a millimeter is about the thickness of a paper clip. And you'll notice there, that's about one millimeter. So if I did 10 millimeters, that's going to equal a centimeter. And again, I don't like this flex ruler because it's telling you millimeters is the, the unit of measurement, but it's not. I'm going to grab this um, line segment here that I drew, and I'm going to go ahead and measure it. And you probably learned in elementary school, you always want to start at the zero mark. Well, that's pretty simple here. And when I'm measuring this, it's going to be about 27 millimeters or about 2.7 centimeters, maybe round up to 28. The difficult thing is, well, we know we'd never put the ruler there. That's ridiculous. But if you were measuring a phone, some of us would measure a phone, and as you measure the phone, you just take it and you'd put the ruler off to the side and you'd say, okay, that's where the ruler begins, and we're gonna come over here and we'd say, okay, that's six centimeters or 60 millimeters wide. No, it's not, because you're not at the, the zero mark. If I put that at the zero mark there, this is actually seven centimeters or 70 millimeters wide. So make sure if you're measuring that you're using it properly and you don't skip that gap at the beginning or your measurement is gonna be completely off. If you don't have your phone today, or even if you do have your phone, it's difficult to measure the thickness. And oftentimes you can go online and you can type in the model of your phone and they're gonna give you the dimensions, the height, the width, and the thickness of your phone but often you put cases on your phone that make them a little bit thicker. So the phone I'm using right now to record has a case on it, and if I didn't uh, measure that case and add for a couple of extra millimeters, it wouldn't fit into the phone holder that we're designing. So we're gonna need to know thicknesses of our phones so that we can uh, get this, whoops, that's not a very good one there because you can't see, but you need to know about how thick should that be. And it's always better to be a little bit wider than our phone. If it's more narrow than our phone, we just can't get our phone to sit in there. And so when we put that phone in there, it needs to be able to sit and hold up. So hopefully that helps you in measuring millimeters and you understand what you're doing for our Tinkercad 3D project.